What is going on, everybody, man? King Recon here, and I wanted to talk about my first week, guys. Week one in the journey of the Nintendo Switch arc of my life, man. Because, you know, with every new game console that comes out, you, you and whenever you actually get it, you start a brand new li uh, cycle, a life cycle with, with, with that system, you know. And I think that the thing with the Switch, because my, my entire thing with, and this is this has been ever since, uh, you know, post uh, 360 PS3 Wii era, you know, with the with the PS4, with the Xbox One and with the Wii U, with those since I since since now, you know, as an adult, I've, I've had to you know work and, and, and with and with school and whatnot, it's it's been harder to invest as much time into games as I used to whenever I was in high school. And I, and I still get a lot of, of game time in. But thanks to this, thanks to this beautiful uh, uh, Nintendo Switch, I have been able to play this thing more than I have a console at launch, or at least whenever I, because I haven't gotten a console at launch, it, it, I think since the Wii, and I don't even think I got the Wii at launch. And you know, and, and so I, this is one of the first consoles I ever got at, at launch. I think this might be the only console I ever got at launch, now that I think about it. But yeah, it, it, aside from that, with, 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 with the Nintendo Switch, maybe it's because of, of, of Zelda. Maybe it's, maybe it's solely because of Zelda. But I have, this past week, because even with with the with, even with the Xbox One, with the PS4, or the Wii U, um, you know, I, I I would play nonstop, and then I would like check my phone. I would I would check the computer. With the Switch, man, oh my God! Like it would be work, come home, play the Switch, go to sleep, wake up, play the Switch, go to work, go go come home, do the same thing. Monday was my only day off this week. And I spent the entire day from the moment I woke up until I went to sleep playing this thing because I was able to take it everywhere. That's why I love the Switch so much, guys, because I'm I'm normally not home all day. Like I, there is never a day that I am home all day. And be, thanks to this thing right here, I am able to just take it off the dock and take it with me wherever I go. And it's and, and it's and it lasts me like three hours. So it's 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 just enough time that I need. And with the case that I bought, this case is freaking awesome sauce, dude. I just put it in the case. Uh, I have one two switch in here as well on the bottom. It's a beautiful case. I'm gonna show you, show you this thing. This case is pretty beast. So like the, the, this is where I would place the switch, and then um right in there is where my games are. Like I don't know if you can see it, but one two switch is right there. And you know one two switch is actually is actually pretty fun. I. It it doesn't compare, at least for me, to to Wii Sports. I think Wii Sports was, was was the creme de la creme when it comes to th that type of game. But it's still pretty fun. It but I only I only really played it for for one day with, with my brother because the rest of the time I'm playing I've been playing the greatness guys. Where is it? Where's the goat man? I've I've been playing this nonstop, dude. Let me actually turn this thing on. Yeah, and, and no spoilers will be in this video by the way. When it comes to Legend of Zelda, you don't have to worry about it. I'm I'm not even finished with the game myself, but. Man, dude. God, I, I just I, I I love this thing so much. I think the reason why I really like the, the Switch so much, like I said before, is because I can take it anywhere, man. And for a person who's not home that often, like it's beautiful. I'm like, I'm not gonna be home. Screw it, man. I'll take Zelda with me. I'm like, no, like it's beautiful. So that's why I've gotten so much gameplay into it, man. And when I tell you that I have invested hours into this thing already, like I've been playing Legend of Zelda nonstop since last week. Like that, that's where all of my free time has gone. All of my free time has gone. And maybe, like I said before, maybe it's because of Zelda as the launch title that I'm loving the Switch so much. But you know. It, 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 having having this thing on the go with me and being able to take it where, wherever I please is honestly my favorite feature. It it, it 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 really is. Let me go ahead and go to the dashboard. But yeah, man, right there. This is, if you can see the the home screen, the awesome sauce. It's 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 just it's it's greatness, man. I I, I love this thing. And at at this point in time, let me let me go to the eShop. Let me see. But yeah, it, I mean, you know, yeah, it, it it's it only really needed that that as a launch title, honestly, to to to, to sell me at least. But hold on. 
but yeah it's been it's been an amazing journey this past week man now when it comes to to just the the switching of itself um it's 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 it's, it's been pretty cool that it, it hasn't hasn't overheated on me but then again i, I don't really either like when, on the days that i really really go in i take it from the dock put it over here take it from the dock put it back here so i always give it time to rest on the dock so um but yeah like uh, when, when it comes to this thing it hasn't overheated i haven't run into any problems the only thing i ran into was whenever i put in the strap the the strap for, to play uh, one of the one two switch games um i put it in wrong and oh man dude that was hell to get that thing out <laughs> i was i was struggling so hard but that's been pretty much the only problem as far as interface goes and the games themselves. I I, I remember uh, I haven't I haven't really been on anything like social media wise, so I don't know if anyone's been having any issues with the Switch with Legend of Zelda or anything. But whenever before Zelda came out, people were saying that it had frame rate issues. I have had no, absolutely no frame rate issues at all in this game. I mean, dead serious. And I've been checking out the details, man. Like I. I've been playing so much that I probably I would have noticed uh, a, a frame a frame a frame drop, you know, and I haven't noticed at all, at all, and it's it's been beautiful. Like I'm, I was looking forward to this game for so long. You guys, you guys know, man. It, it's a part of this channel. This this has been like the one game that I constantly hype was hyping up on the channel. It lived it lived, it lived up to the hype. I'm not even finished with the game. I'm not even finished with the game, dude. And it's, it already lived with the hype for me. It, it really already has. I've invested so much time into the shrines, into the side quests, into the main quests, into just adventuring around and going around and finding, find, 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 you know, cooking up a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, we're doing random things, man, you know, finding new outfits, that kind of stuff. Like, it's it, it's really awesome in this open world game just to go out into these towns. And, it, and honestly, a lot of these towns and their characters are extremely memorable already. And I haven't even finished the game, like I stated. So, but I'll, I'll, I'll I definitely... Whenever I finish it, I'll go more into depth with like a spoiler video because I don't even I don't want to get spoiled. I'm probably not gonna, I'm gonna look at the comments because I really don't want to get spoiled in this game. I've been loving it so much, but yeah, man, I just the, the, this first week with with this console has been has been awesome. So I was dude, like like I was like I was trying to state before before I before I, I lost track as always. I flipping I haven't put as much time nonstop into into a console like this since I dare say the 360 because with the PS4 and the Xbox One and the Wii U even on the on like the first two days that I got it you know I, I, would, I would be playing it but then again it, it's it's also because of the titles that were out whenever I, I got those consoles uh you know it, there wasn't really that many titles like once I beat the game that came with it and what else but Zelda is such a huge game Zelda is such a huge game that it is well worth over the sixty dollars. It is a finished game, and I'm like, an actual finished game? Can it be? And that, and I'm taking hard shots. I'm taking hard shots at flipping Konami for Metal Gear Solid Five. I'm taking hard shots at Square Enix for Final Fantasy XV. I'm taking shots because this, this is a completed game, and I love Final Fantasy XV. Metal Gear Solid Five, I, I, I don't run it all the time, but I love the hell of the game. And Final Fantasy XV was my favorite game last year. But this is a completed game. This is a completed game. Learn, take notes. Take notes. All right. Like, I'm, why is it so hard to make, to make a game like this? It's a completed game. You know what I mean? I and I'm, like I said, I'm not even done with it, and I've already gotten well worth over the, the, the over what I paid for. And it's 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 like man, what what? This this is what games need. They need to aspire to be like this. To give me what I what what I paid for, you know, like the, the, everybody wants to give me microtransactions and oh season passes. I mean, I know this is gonna get a season pass too, but still, like oh I don't know, we're gonna give all the meat. You know, we're gonna give you the, the bread and then you have to pay for the meat. You know, we're we're gonna give you the the nicest w w bread we could possibly have. You know, the nice cover, really nice uh, story, gameplay. You know, we'll we'll fix it after an update. After an update. But the story, you you you'll get around eighty percent of it. But if you want to play the whole thing, you you gotta pay extra. You ain't you ain't getting the whole thing off sixty. You ain't, and, and that junk pisses me off, man. It really it really it really irks me. It, it pisses me off, man. And, and those type of things. But that, that's a discussion for another day. But yeah, 
like, like like I was stating on before, when it comes to when it came to the PS4, the Xbox One, and the and the Wii U, you know, I, I would play them for, for, for like the, the first day and then the second day. But then after that, I would then start looking at my phone, I was looking at the computer, and but with a Switch, and and I deleted everything. I deleted all all, all forms of, of social media, and I turned off all notifications besides my text messaging. And um and it's it, it, and I just dedicated all my free time to the Switch, and I have not been I have I haven't even tempted to look at my phone at all that and like i said maybe it's not just because of this because the switch in of itself wouldn't be anything without this had this not come out i wouldn't even have a switch but it's because of the combination of this masterpiece of an awesome sauce of a game along with 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 with, with a nintendo switch and me being able to play it in my bed or if i want to go to the kitchen and eat and, and eat breakfast you know cook up some breakfast while while playing legend of zelda taking a dump going to my grandma's house taking it to, to class playing it on break at work you know that kind of stuff man because i'm well with, with with me i'm almost never home and whenever i am home i'm like making videos or something like that but this past but with this past week I've been able to take this anywhere and everywhere that I go, and it's been amazing. Just, just, just from that standpoint, like this Switch has so much potential with with what it can do with party gaming. With one two Switch, me and my brother, me and my brother have, a, have had a blast, and that game is nothing compared to like the Super Smash Brothers, or to compare to like the Mario Karts, or the Super Mario Brothers, or a Sonic, or you know Splatoon, you know, those type of games, Mario Party, you know those those type of party party games. One thing, one thing that I want to note when it comes to the Switch, I really hope that on the Switch we start getting those uh, sport games back because I'm actually a huge fan of games like Super Mario Strikers. I loved Mario Sluggers on, on the Wii. That game was flipping awesome sauce. Uh, you know, those type of sports games with Mario characters, yo, give them to me, man. And then add add on like the, the Inklings from Splatoon. Add on uh, flipping Sonic. Add on uh, Link, you know. Uh, just add on these characters from Nintendo. It doesn't have to be just a Mario thing. Add on all Nintendo characters, make make a baseball game or a soccer game, like that kind of stuff. I like that kind of stuff. And for a party game, you know, Nintendo is, has always been the best when it comes to co-op, uh, cooperative gameplay on the couch. At least for me, at least the, the, the way the way that I grew up, Nintendo was always the best when it came to that kind of stuff. But yeah, like I've I've owned every single Nintendo console since the Super Nintendo, besides the Game Boy SP, and that's because I already had a Game Boy Advance and I want to get it. I want to get another one. So. You know, it, well, then again, I then I would have to ex include like the XL stuff. Like I've only had like one variation of every console that, that's come out. But I'll tell you guys this, man. Not since the Wii, because I like the Wii U and I have quite a couple games for it. Mario Kart Eight is, is one of the my, one one of my favorite uh, uh, times playing. Uh, like it, it has some of my best and, and most memorable times of playing online multiplayer with my friends uh, from. From, from here, even here on like on YouTube and whatnot, but Mario Kart 8 was awesome sauce. But and Super Smash Brothers 4 was was absolutely great. Splatoon brought me some great memories. Uh, Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess HD, you know, a lot of great stuff on the on, on the Wii U. But with a Switch, I I, I don't know, man. It's I, I I I feel like just based on launch, and I think it it, it mainly is due part to Zelda. But that 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 that's great on Nintendo's part man like with super smash Bros., uh, with um with the gamecube you know they sold me right off the bat because a game came, my, my gamecube came with melee my gamecube came with melee so i played melee luigi's mansion sonic chaos man adventure the chaos director's cut edition you know those type of things and then um when it came to the wii man wii sports right off the bat whenever i got it i believe brawl was either about to come out or it already came out so but Wii Sports, I used to play just that. That and Mario and Sonic Olympic Games. I remember I used to play that. Those two and Brawl so much. So, like, uh, those, I, I wouldn't mess so much time on when, when I got the Wii U. My, my, um, I, I had the pleasure of, of having it come with uh, Splatoon and uh, Mario Kart and and uh, Super Smash Bros. Because I got it so late into its life cycle. But this early into its life cycle, it, I'm really, really glad that Nintendo waited to get Zelda for uh, the Switch because it added so much. I mean, so many people got the Switch. I mean, be honest. I got the Switch just, just to play Zelda on it. But I feel like they have some pretty decent, uh, like, a lineup for this year. Nintendo has a plan this time, which has me happy. You know, here, I'm already excited for what's about to come here in the next uh, upcoming months. I have a game a month that I'm going to dedicate to Nintendo, you know. 
Next month, I'm going to get a, a Mario Kart a Deluxe, no doubt. I mean, that's going to be awesome sauce. Then I'm going to get Street Fighter 2, the, the Ultra HD edition, uh, the Challengers, I believe this one's called. I'm going to I'm gonna bring that thing everywhere. Man. I, I'll, I'll, uh, random stranger, you want some? Come get some, man. And that's it. That's going to be it. So, you know, I'll, 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 I'll take whoever on there, Splatoon. Then after that, Super Mario Odyssey will become a Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So I'm excited, man. But for right now... I'm okay with just this, man. I'm okay with just this, dude. I really am. Like, uh, but but just just sticking onto the console uh, by itself right now, it's it, it, battery life. I mean, I I think in the past week I really have only charged these Joy-Con controllers like once, and I've had to that it was about to die. And I think that was Monday, whenever I was using in this thing all day. So, battery life has been fantastic on this thing gameplay wise beautiful no frame drops a fluid sounds great looks great breath of the wild is one of the most beautiful games i've ever seen and this is this is on this is on a freaking uh on on, on on a nintendo console you know like it's it's just it looks beautiful it looks great and i i'm, I'm really been just loving it so much man it's, it really is one of one of my it's so so beautiful I, i'll get, go more into depth whenever i finish but i i, I just been loving it so much man for you guys that that, that that have been playing it as well like i said no spoilers but this game is everything that i love about games and, and it's just it, it's it, 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 and it's hard for me to say that because every game brings like something different you know but when it comes to this, it's like everything that I love about Zelda just in one package, man. It's so flipping good, man. Like, it's it's just, I can't even begin to explain how awesome sauce it is. I mean, you know, my my, my biggest thing when it came to, to, when it came to the to, to Zelda games that I always look forward to the most was the boss battles, the dungeons, and the adventure aspect. With this game, they dominated all those aspects, and then they're dominating in the character and story portions with this game, too, and you're like, whoa! But I'll tell you what, man, the open world aspect of this game, it, 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 it's freaking amazing, dude. Like, I, could, I spend hours just roaming around roaming around climbing doing all this random stuff man and i have a blast doing so and I, i'm gonna cover this once again hopefully if i remember in the in, whenever i do like a full on or i finish this game and i have to go on in depth talking about this godly game but there's one particular portion that really caught me off guard and for you guys that have played it um you know which part i'm about to talk about but it's whenever you have to go on some solid snake stuff infiltration mission and uh, that mission really caught me off guard in a good way. Like, I didn't expect a mission like that in this game. Because in that mission, not only did I have to go all solid snake, uh, you know, infiltrating and, and whatnot, I had to also use my brain in normal Zelda, Zelda fashion. And then after that, you had a boss battle. And that boss battle was the funnest boss battle because the dude is a flipping troll, man. And it's, it was it's, it was it was wonderful, like that entire portion right there is is will forever be memorable to me in uh in, in uh, from this game like a very very memorable portion of this game was that part that I'm talking about. If you if you guys if you guys have gotten that part in the game or, or it does, like the thing is the great thing about this game too is that besides reaching the end you can't really say like have you gotten that far because you you can really go to any portion of the map and explore that first. Like everyone will have a different experience playing this game. Like, I, I, like, for, well, I, I haven't really seen anyone else, uh, I haven't talked to anyone else about this game, but, uh, you know, you, you, well, the great thing about this game is that you can start from any point, at least I believe, and, um, and, like, whenever I, whenever I finish the game and I'll start talking to other people about it, I'm gonna ask how their journeys were for, for the Breath of the Wild, because I, it, the way that it's structured, I really do think that it is fit for every single person to have a different journey and a different way of experiencing, uh, the game for sure and uh and, and and that's great that, that really leads towards the adventure aspect that the, that i love so much about the legend of zelda that everyone has a different story to tell a different journey to tell of, of, of how of how they went through this story you know it's the characters are the same the, the 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 land is the same but the way that you experienced it was not the same because you, you might have gone through it in a different order you might have gone here first or might have gone over there first and that kind of stuff and um and and I I love I love that type of stuff when it comes to video games you know because as much and, and I there's a lot of games that 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 share that type of thing 
But I think the great thing about the Breath of the Wild is that it is a launch title. I think that they really nailed it with this one. Um, when it comes to, to, to the Switch, having this as a launch title, I think that it. whenever we look back, like whenever um, um, t 15, 20 years from now, we look back at what made this game so special, aside from it being such a great game, is that it was a launch title. You know, a launch title. And it being a launch title just... It, it, because the thing is, had it come out like in the middle of of, of the Switch's uh, cycle, I might, I might be sitting here saying something else. But because I'm experiencing the Switch for the first time with this game, it's like double the awesome sauce. Because I'm experiencing a brand new hardware, also at the same time experiencing a brand new adventure in the Breath of the Wild. And I feel like the combination of those two is, is, is absolutely phenomenal. And, and is has truly given me an amazing experience and not wanting to put the switch down like even as soon as i finish recording this and i put it to render i'm gonna continue playing zelda breath of the wild because that's just how much i've been enjoying it i i, I can't put it any different guys i have i have just can't put it down I'm, I'm i'm obsessed with it like it's so good i can't i can't the thing is is i'm so interested in the story yet i'm also so interested in the world like it's it's like a combination of all these things and i actually am interested in in doing all of the quests side quests shrine quests all this stuff because i just want to find out more about the game and and everything that has to do with it because it's an interesting world and all the callbacks to like all the other games and how it keeps so much of what makes zelda zelda was living as a brand new adventure i love it i love it so much man but i'll go more in depth into this Whenever we actually, uh, whenever I finish the game, but this 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 thing is so good, man. Like I, I, I love it. And like I said, I think it's because this came out at the same time as this that truly has been has made this Nintendo Switch this first week with the Switch so memorable and, and so special. But I've I've just I've been I've been enjoying it so much, man. Like and the thing is, I've I've, I've barely played one two Switch because I've been playing Breath of the Wild so much. And you know, whenever I finish Breath of the Wild. After I finish Breath of the Wild, actually, I'm planning. I'm, I'm planning on buying Fast RMX, but I don't know when I'm gonna finish Breath of the Wild. It could be. I have no idea because I don't know how close I am to finishing the game. I mean, I have a feeling. Going off of playing all of a lot of the previous ones, I have a feeling that I'm pretty close to uh, to 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 the end in terms of I might be I might finish it like within within the next uh, couple of days, especially whenever I, I I'll have my my next day off on Monday. And um and I'll probably be able to 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 maybe finish it on Monday, but besides that, man, I'm just I'm in no rush. Just been having a blast, enjoying the adventure, enjoying the journey of both finding. I, 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 listen, man, this is how obsessed I've been with, with Zelda. Is that I've been finding out new things about the, about, about about this console just by playing the, that game, because I haven't even had a chance. Besides, like creating a me for me. For, for 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 myself i really have i've only visited the e-shop like once everything else just been straight up just as soon as i get on zelda 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 i haven't even got a chance to like, check out the hardware for everything else that's just how how much I, i've been obsessed with this thing but it's great because it, it gives me not only the sense of adventure for the legend of zelda breath of the wild but also sense of adventure when it comes to the switch because i still have a lot more things to know and find out about the console it also helps that i've, that I've turned off social media so I haven't had anyone telling me anything new about the Switch or anyone telling me something this about the Switch or telling me that about the Switch. So it's been just me finding out everything for the first time. Like, it's a shoot. It's a shoot. I've been finding out everything for the first ha first hand, just like whenever I was a kid. And I and I feel like that's, what, that's what's been really awesome about this about this journey with the Switch. I've saved so many pictures. Like, let me go. Let me look into my album. Holy flagnards. Like, I kind of want. Well, it. it just I, I just to give you like a quick like quick glimpse look at, look at look at how many screenshots i've taken like like this like a whole page and look it just goes down it's crazy dude like i've been taking so many screenshots man well i can't help it dude i'm like whenever we go whenever we go into one of those flashback scenes of like screenshots 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 screenshots, screenshots, screenshots dude, those, those flashback scenes are my fate are they're my favorites i like i love so many things about this game when we reach those flashback scenes, I legit get off of my bed, and even 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 if I'm holding this thing or wherever I'm at, wherever I'm at, I I will like stand up and I'll be watching like so attentively, yo, because I'm just that interested, that immersed in the story, dude. And as a huge fan of Legend of Zelda, and as a person who has been hyping up this game ever since it was announced, even before it was announced, 
ever since the, this channel has existed, I've been hyping up the Breath of the Wild. I've been hyping up the game that will come out for the Wii U. Then that, 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 that was going to come out for the NX. Then that was come out for the Switch. I've always been hyped up for the, for the newest edition of Legend of Zelda. And the more I saw from this thing, the more I liked it. And the fact that it lived up to the hype. The fact that it lived up to my expectations and surpassed them. This game is awesome sauce, man. And I'm so happy I got it for the Switch because that's made that, ex that, that experience just that much more awesome sauce, man. It's like because it was the launch title for the Switch, it just makes it that much more special, and um and it's 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 been an amazing time, man. But let me know what you guys, uh, what your guys' journey without any spoilers. I don't please 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 don't spoil me. But uh, when it comes to like your journey thus far with the Switch, if you guys have it, um and your your journey with Legend of Zelda and and whatnot, like what has been your journey, your thoughts, your impressions of the first week with the console thus far? Have you been loving it? Have you been enjoying it? Have you been going in? Have you been playing it? You know, are you already bored of it? Like, let, let me know what your thoughts are of, of the Switch thus far. Like I said, after I finish the Breath of the Wild, I'm going to buy that Fast RMX game. And then I'm, I'm going to be playing that with with my brother for sure. That'll be fun. And then with Spring Break coming up soon, um, that, that'll that definitely, you know, the more multiplayer games, the better when it comes to, to Nintendo consoles like this. Can't wait for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's going to be awesome sauce. But for right now, I'm just taking my sweet time with this game right here. And I'm going to just keep journeying adventuring and going around zelda ing man yeah, i'm gonna go around zelda ing yo screw it but you guys are an awesome today thank you so much for watching i've been enjoying the switch so much i haven't put it down you know this is this past week all of my free time when i i'm not joking i'm not joking all of my free time went to went, went to the legend of zelda breath of the wild you know but i i expected it but i didn't expect to be addicted this much but like I said before, I, it, it, it it's due to it being a launch title for a brand new console. So it's the it's it's the it's the lore and the and, and, and the awe of having a new console and this game you've waited for for so long. So and the fact that I waited like eight, 18 hours for this thing too, like the combination of those three things has really made this system something special thus far. And I only have and, and I only see a bright future from it from here on out because there's so many great titles coming out and like I, and and it's the best thing about this is that it's a Nintendo console. Nintendo focuses so much on the party uh, gaming aspect of it and on the gameplay aspect of it. Nintendo has never lost sight of that, and I expect them to continue being on track, especially after Breath of the Wild. And um, so I'm looking forward to seeing the future of of the Switch and and what we see from here on out, but. Uh, I definitely expect after I finish Zelda to have for me to have multiple videos on the game. I don't. I don't think I'm just gonna have just one because that'll be way too long. I like it'd just be splitting the game in half on why, you know, from what what I like about the game. Maybe I might make one video, and then maybe multiple videos straight after. Uh, but I, I don't know what my plan is. I'm just I'm enjoying it really a lot thus far, and that's why I stated that I didn't want to make any videos for like streaming wise for for Zelda because then I wouldn't be able to immerse myself as much as i knew i wanted to be in and i'm glad i didn't because it's just me it's just been me and legend of zelda man just been me been, been, been me 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 and my beauty right here and it's it's been awesome sauce guys but i'm about to get back into it um next video next video though i'll be, before the breath of the wild video whenever i finish it when i finish breath of the wild i'll um i'll send out the the, the friend code my, my friend code and that way, all of you can add me, man. We we can hit ups whatever whenever like Mario Kart Eight Deluxe comes out, or maybe Fast RMX, whatever online multiplayer games they have. After I finish Breath of the Wild, we'll be able to hit it up, man. Play some Switch, and whatnot. So most definitely, after after I finish Breath of the Wild, I'll start handing out the friend code. When our if some if some of you guys want to leave a friend code down below, I'll I'll I'll, I'll add you. And whenever some party games start coming out, like Splatoon Two, bro, when Splatoon Two comes out, man, you you already know we're gonna be in there like slow more. That's gonna that's gonna be awesome. I love Splatoon, guys. Splatoon is greatness, so I, I can't wait to play that. But for right now, guys, I'm gonna go back to playing some other flipping Legend of Zelda. You guys have been awesome today. The greatness, yo, the awesome sauce. I love it so much.